My mission is, is really to make us in Jamaica on par when it comes to cost of energy in the world. Welcome again, family. We're here for another one. It's a long time I want to bring you back one of these. We are here in Havendale. It's a nice sunny day, so you don't know already. <laughs> I give thanks to that. This one is a 30 kilowatt inverter. I guess you would say like an industrial size inverter, but this gentleman, this customer, opted for it. This is an off-grid system. If you want to know the price of this system, or a system like this one, at Essential Solar, just stick it out to the end of the video, and we'll let you know. Family, here we are. This system was installed over a year ago. And these are 54, 430 watt monocrystalline panels. We discontinued them, but that's what this was. Whenever we discontinue products, it's usually because we are able to work out a form factor. It's probably bigger, it's probably smaller, certain form factors that are going to give you more power per dollar spent. As you can see, it's a beauty. Why? Almost bring tears to my eyes. Right now, this, these panels, this, this power in this place. You might have five AC in this place. You know, they use them, they use it. The family, man. So you know, you have, there's a lot of family and everything. And everybody live comfortable. It's about $180,000 a month. The electric bill would be here. The thing though is that I just look at him, him light bill <laughs> and him light bill is 300 Jamaican dollars. I just want to make that clear, it's Jamaican dollars. Why? He's, I'd say he's living the dream. This roof, why? The roof, the roof is a poor, it's a nice roof. Very strong, good roof. And we really love install solar on them type of roof here. You know, if you know that your roof not so good, you probably should call a roofer before. It might seem like an inconvenience, but it's, it's, it will work out better in the long run. This is the business end of um, solar installation. You can see all the wires are tucked in. When customers up for a nut and bolt, because we think it is stronger, we do give you other op the other option of, of doing clamps as well, no problem. I, I would say that this system is quite hurricane proof. People like to ask me this question, what we're gonna do in a hurricane? I say, well, your solar can withstand up to a category three with no problems and probably can withstand up to category four. Life is not perfect, so I'm going to mention something. This is an off-grid system, so it has what you call a combiner box. All of the power comes into this one box. And this is where the power is then combined and distributed down into the power room. We had to replace this under warranty just recently. The box went through some duress. The good thing about it though, none of the systems below in the power room were affected. One of the little drawbacks with solar is that if lightning go lick your house, if you're not properly protected, you might lose equipment. And it's usually equipment in your power room. Right? So it's good to invest in some protection. This is the best. This is old school. This is the real protection. Right? It's just a piece of copper rod up in the air that is higher than your panels, so it will capture all of the, the lightning so that the lightning don't go into your system. Probably that's a one in a hundred thousand of us that will have that problem. So it's not something that everybody has to worry about. But if you know you live in an area that is prone to lightning strikes, it's a necessary expense. It is imperative that you are protected from these surges like lightning and so forth for your warranty to be in full effect. You have to take responsibility for your own system and understand your own situation. One of the, the, the things that kind of mess up our manufacturing sector here in, in the island is the cost of energy. Because energy comes from um, fossil fuel, it come, comes from petroleum. Thankfully, we are in the 21st century and we have a chance to level the playing field. And I want to participate and usher in an era where we are on par and competitive when it comes to the cost of our energy. And we're here with Mr. Wisdom. He has graciously you know, offered to do an interview. And this is, I know this is valuable for you the viewers, kind of have an idea of real world experience with, with, with Essential Solar, so. We're putting this system October last year. 
and um, this would make it one year now since we have the system and the system is still operating very well. At the time we were having a um, light bill uh, 160, 180, family of eight. Since then we stepped down to family of four, which we basically spec the system based on a family of eight. It is quite um, quite easy to, to deal with and it is very friendly. Since we had the system for the year, um, we had only one changeover to JPS. The last weather with the continuous rain for three days, we went low, but it didn't change over. The sun came out and everything was back to normal. Boy, congratulations. I really we feel good for you. We feel good for you. Feel good for you. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. We, we thought of the best way to approach it and, um, you know, we check out around to see who was supplying and um, we we made contact with Essential Solar and uh, asked them to give us an estimate. The system basically works like this. On a sunny day, uh, the battery will be fully charged by about 12 o'clock. And that is if you don't have a load, um, a strong load on it, meaning that you don't have your AC on, you're not running a, a washing cycle where you're um, using the dryer. Dryer. Mm -hmm. Right. You just have just the regular um, things that I use um, during that period. Mm -hmm. In the night now, you can start up your load, say approximately 7.38, meaning all the AC can turn on by then. Mr. Wisdom is a technically inclined person, so... Basically, he run down him, him batch them to about 50%. I'm going to give him the credit. He was very um, receptive to sizing the system, obviously, for, for, for the family of eight that he had at the time. Bigger than what he knew he was probably going to need later. So therefore, what it does is it allowed his batteries to, to, to work less. Let's put it that way. Why did you choose to go with the maintenance fee gel batteries knowing that um, you know lithium batteries are, are they are promising 15 20 years you know and you know the gel batteries you, you, you will get probably eight years if you treat them well all right so at the time mm -hmm. getting the system I was thinking of getting the system to start now the lithium the lithium battery was is a fairly new new concept and um, the price was high for one um, the availability nice. was not even that much in terms of out here but um, the gel battery has been proven already and I, I got some information from others using it so you know starting with the gel battery it would be it, the price would end up lower because you have to work with a budget too and um, once you work with that budget and you know the batteries itself although I use in 60 batteries but it's it's the same power that you're getting you don't just say you have power independent power yeah it's it take management also and um, you have to understand your system as well too when to start um, shredding the load mm -hmm. when to 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 um you can do go as high as you want and in the morning mm -hmm. you are okay so those are key things which you'll have to bring into your memory mm -hmm. and over time you will learn it and then you know you you, you, you will be getting right. very very good at it if you if you want to take more responsibility for your system and you want to save some upfront money you would work with the, the, the gel battery. If you're, that means that you have to learn something about managing your system. The lithium batteries, that is a set it and forget it scenario, basically. So I think that's the difference. But Mr. Wisdom here is very technically inclined, so I am confident that his batch is going to last a very long time. Um, it was recommended to us that the system will do better with the, the air conditioning room and all of that yes, we, and, yes. and and it does becomes very hot if you don't have have um, that in it the battery 
sometimes, very hard. So uh, with the AC, it allows me to manage the, 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 the temperature of the battery. In the night, I turn off the AC because we don't really need that and we're going to add some more load to the system. So we turn off that AC in the power room so we can have the additional energy oh. for the other AC. So, you know, that's how we manage the system. You really come down power way. <laughs> um, I don't want to miss the opportunity to thank you. I, I want to thank you. You've been a, a, a great customer. You know, I, I probably saw one of the best customers them. An informed customer is a good customer. Let's just put it that way. Right? And Mr. Wisdom is an informed customer. So it was, you know, so, so it's been really nice dealing with you. I really appreciate the interview with you, sir. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, here we are in the power room. It's a wall of batteries. This is how 60 of our maintenance fee gel batteries look inside of a dedicated power room. If you have the space, then you can go with gel batteries. Now, for those of us who may live in an apartment or uh, you don't have the space, well, I understand. Lithium batteries definitely take up less space. There's, there's, no, there's no technology really that you're going to have that's going to sit there by itself without having to at least take a look at it once a year. So yes, you should service your system once a year at a minimum. But in the case of our customer here, he has a dedicated power room with air conditioning. And I see where he has some hands powder there that he spread. So he has a decent pest control. So I know that he can go a whole year without having to worry about servicing. This, this inverter is, is very close to my heart. I mean, look at it, this is a monster. I want to, to you know, to introduce you. Again, if you were never introduced, it's been a while since I did one of these videos. This is a 30 kilowatt with a big transformer, split phase, right? 110 volt, 120 volts, 50 hertz inverter. This has a built in charge controller as well. This can hold 54 panels of those panels. Um, so this is one way of doing it and obviously our customer he did his research and he chose this way. I like how neat it is, it's just one unit, I don't have no whole heap of wire wire all over the place, it's one unit and the pipe in here and you never see no wire. So if you want big power, this is a way of doing it. Our customer wanted the conveniences but he still didn't want something big, solid and neat. So what we did? We added a Wi-Fi enabled charge controller. So we hooked his panels to this one. So he can look on his phone and see all the data that he needs regarding his batteries, how much power he got in at, uh, on a particular day. And he can look through graphs, many different things on that app. You have the old school system, uh, all the technology batteries, industrial inverter with no fan dangles but you can still add on modern um, you know communication as promised here's the the, the the moment that some of us might be waiting for the price of this system the system cost 43,000 US dollars now keep in mind that the light bill that this is able to replace is a uh, $200,000 light bill. So the system is going to pay back for itself in three to four years for this customer. Let us say if he even had to replace the batteries in let's say five years, the battery cost by itself is a, is a, is a, a small fraction of the entire system cost. When it comes to uh, solar PV systems, is that your true cost for electricity will be your battery replacement cost. Right, so what it works out to for this customer is probably a 80% decrease in the cost of electricity. So the battery replacement cost probably work out to about 20% of what his light bill was. That's if he was using his system at the rate of 200,000 per month. For this customer, he reduced 
they used to drop in the system because I think some of the family members moved out so the, the system is not being used as much. So he's going to get double the amount of time from the batteries, which is how gel batteries work. The less you use them, the more time they last. And they can go up to about eight to 10 years. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks again. Enough for joining me on another one. Until next time, take care of yourself. <laughs>